Hi, everybody. Already midweek, Matt Noyce, good to be with you with the Noyce's One Degree Outside Weather Network and OneDegreeOutside.com, where you can find all of our videos all the time. This is One Degree Outside Today, designed to give you a quick look at the next 24 hours. And if all you want is the bottom line on the forecast, it's right here in Noyce's Notes. All right, clouds are going to build today after a nice start. Uh, some of those clouds will be puffy and eventually get a couple of showers that will fall during the course of the afternoon to the early evening. It's cool and it's almost raw for tomorrow on Thursday. You'll find showers coming through and a northeast wind that comes in off the ocean improvement comes Friday and actually it improves kind of quickly. We're used to getting stuck with these northeasterly winds, which we will this time. The cool northeast wind off the ocean continues into the weekend, but enough dry air looks to come into play that we break up the clouds, we break up the rain, we get improvement Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the way things are looking right now. As for today, not bad for the start. You get the sunshine out of the gate, you get temperatures that are running into the 70s for high temperatures. Now, the wind starts out of the northwest, goes variable as sea breeze kicks up. It almost just becomes a southeasterly wind in parts of southern New England during the course of the afternoon. So that actually tends to cool you down a little bit the later into the day that you go. In terms of those showers, though, there's not a ton of them around. Here's a predicted radar at one o'clock in the afternoon. Notice a couple of showers starting to pop in Connecticut. See what I mean about sunshine and just some puffy fair weather clouds starting up. But as you go deeper into the afternoon, by 3 p.m., you start to pop a few of those showers, even in eastern Massachusetts as well. They start to fill, fill in a little bit more through Connecticut. And by the time we get to, let's say, about 5 p.m., now, you at least have these scattered showers through a lot of southern New England. The farther north you go from the Mass New Hampshire border, Mass Vermont border, the fewer there are. Maybe there's one that pops in the Green Mountains. We take you to about 7 o'clock this evening. Still this little smattering of showers. Notice that there's more that are developing down in upstate New York or, or Pennsylvania. Those are moving off to the north and east. And eventually, those will get in here during the overnight tonight. But actually, we probably will find some of the scattered showers of the afternoon and evening dying down a little bit in the first part of the night. You can see that here in the predicted radar for about 9 o'clock this evening. A little bit closer inspection of the high temperatures for you again as we turn the wind out of the southeast. The Cape may hit 70 or a little bit better and then start to drop as we get to the afternoon. You develop a sea breeze along the coast inland. You at least rise in the mid 70s and then stay there as the clouds bubble up and build a little in the afternoon. Same thing for a lot of central New England. Remember the chance of showers this afternoon to the evening. Already not necessarily high, but there'll be some scattered ones around southern New England. But the farther north you go, the lesser that chance becomes as you get out of these green areas and make your way into the lakes region. Probably no showers in the lakes region. I doubt there'll be any showers today across much of northern New England. Your temperature's running around or maybe just over 70 degrees, depending on where you are. And actually, the Great North does really well today. Notice 70s through a lot of central and eastern Maine and the Canadian provinces, for that matter, as well. Unless you're around Yarmouth or right at the coastline of Nova Scotia, you've got a wind that comes in across the water. Overnight tonight, the showers that I mentioned in uh, the Catskills of New York, the Poconos of Pennsylvania expand to the north and east. We do get back into some showers by dawn on Thursday. Overnight low temperatures generally running probably around 55 to 60 in central and southern New England, a little cooler in the north, and then we'll deal with those raw showers coming through on Thursday. More on that in our One Degree Insights video, which of course I'll get posted to our homepage, OneDegreeOutside.com, and all of our social channels. Hope you have a great day.